What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded. Literally it's been like probably over a week by now. Today is Friday. Just got out of work. So happy to be home. Um, quick side note, on my way home, some dude tried to race me on the highway. I don't know what this dude was doing. Just some some people like, I don't know, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But for today's video, as you see by the title, I'm really thinking about doing the mid muffler delete on the Challenger. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's explain why. So right, like I was saying, I wanna do the mid muffler delete on the Challenger only because I like the way it sounds right now. So mine is a 2017, which the 2017 plus all the V8s, they got the active exhaust. So I have the 5.7 liter V8 that has the active exhaust and with the valves open, it sounds great. It, it really does. Um, I like the way it sounds. I really do like the stock uh, exhaust that set up just because you can make it quiet when you want to and then make it louder. Um, you know when you want to as well right now since i have the z automotive taser uh linked up to my car i'm running it inside track mode which makes the valves opened up all the time so that's really nice but i've been reading more online seeing what other people have done and doing a mid muffler delete is another option which a lot of people say is a nice option to do my only thing is though i'm not fully sure i i do believe that the valves for the active exhaust are inside the rear uh, mufflers not the mid mufflers so I think that if I do the mid muffler delete with the active exhaust it should still in theory work I mean it's gonna be louder because the mid mufflers are gonna be gone but the rear mufflers I believe when you still turn the uh, the track mode off and just put it like a normal mode the mid the rear mufflers the valve should close and it should make it somewhat quieter still but it'll still be overall be louder than what it was before at least that's my theory but i want to do real quick i want to put the car up on some stands real quick or just like these ramps i want to look underneath and look at the exhaust itself just for myself my personal just kind of like i don't know uh reassurance that the the actual exhaust valves not the exhaust valves well yeah i guess i guess it is the exhaust valves are inside the rear muffler not the mid muffler quick side note for the jeep if you're wondering what's going on with that that tire it's still holding air We've been putting some air in it. Actually, I put some air in it last weekend. Today's Friday, I put it in, what was it? Saturday or Sunday, I put some air. In. Actually, no, I think it was Saturday. I put air inside that tire. It's still holding air. I know that there's a nail in it. I was able to see the nail that's in this. So, I wanna actually see if I can get it patched first before I buy a whole new tire. No. Man, this thing hasn't, this thing literally hasn't moved in like a week. As you can tell by all the cobwebs cobweb there cobwebs i don't know if it's even gonna pick up on camera you should be able to see like there's like literally there's just a giant amount of cobwebs all over this car i did see someone they are selling um some tires actually i saw someone they're selling the exact tires that i have the bf good wrench uh they were to two the 255 75 by 17s same size that's on here i saw someone selling a pair of two for 100 bucks but they were used and from the pictures they didn't look that great so i mean i could do that i did see someone else selling like a normal wrangler tire there was like 50 bucks for one i don't really want to do that because i'm like eh, i don't want to put like a you know like a one different tire on it it'll just look kind of weird um i did see some other people that are selling you know sets i have seen other people they are selling a full set of yeah one guy's selling a set of five i believe tires but they're not the the, the bf Good, uh, goodrich they are, I think they're just like the normal, like the Wrangler tires that came off of a Rubicon, which I was going to do that originally when I had my Jeep Wrangler. I was going to buy the Rubicon wheels and put them on my normal sport Wrangler, but I don't know. I really like the way that these uh, tires look, so I might not do that. But yeah, that's a whole other story for a whole other day. I'm still getting everything fixed up with this Jeep. It's still doing good. I just have a couple issues that I want to get corrected. Hopefully, I'll be able to get all that stuff done this week coming up. So that should be that. But I literally haven't driven it just because of the, the tire. But without further ado, let me put these ramps up and let's take a look at what's underneath of the Challenger. I guess before we do that, we have to do a semi cold start. Actually, it's not cold at all. I just drove it home, but you get the point.
All right, quick side note. Whenever you pull a car up on like ramps like these, always have the parking brake and always put something behind the rear wheel to kind of just chalk it in place. I know they have those like actual tire pucks, I think they call them. Uh, I'm gonna use a weight. That's what, I, that's what I did with the Jeep. I'm gonna do that with this. But I'm not really gonna be underneath here for like extended periods of time. I just kind of wanna look. But still, safety first. Just grab one of these bad boys. That should work. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, I'm not getting underneath here because this is way too low to the ground. But... I'm just taking a peek. It's underbelly is actually pretty good. I haven't seen it in like a while. I saw it when I first bought the vehicle, but I didn't really... I haven't actually been... I haven't actually looked underneath here since then. This little ramp actually is coming pretty handy. Gave me a, just enough clearance to stick the camera and they take a look underneath here. You can see, these are the front cats up here. So those are the cats up there. The, there's a, it's an X pipe that comes down. And here, maybe this could be a little better view. Here are the mid mufflers, which they're kind of actually far back. They're like right before the rear wheels. And then you get the rear mufflers are back there. Hopefully this is a better look. These are the rear mufflers and this should have the actual exhaust valve should be in this. And right before the rear diff is the mid muffler. I'm just looking to see if I see any let's say you have the rears. These get taken off. These things are kind of big. Wow. I think that'll definitely give us some more sound. And yeah, and I don't see any like O2 sensors around there. So that should be good with that. Because as you guys know, the one thing I am trying to do with the Jeep is do an O2 sensor. Honestly, I might try to do this right now. One more time. I'm so sick and tired of this stupid O2 sensor. It looks like this one was slightly bent when it was put in. It was So it's basically, it's like, it's threaded inside the Jeep. I have the O2 sensor. I have the tool to take it off, but I literally can't get it off. I've been trying multiple times. I might try one more time really quickly just because I am here, but I don't know. That's one other video. I'm going to get this Jeep just 100% because I know this is, that's going to be my like winter vehicle. But the Challenger though, honestly, I think that's going to make it sound so much better. So yeah, so my goal for this week that is coming up next weekend, not this weekend, I want to get the rear or the mid muffler delete on the Challenger and I want to take the Jeep. I'm going to do a couple small little things to it. Uh, I will talk about that more inside the next video because unfortunately there is a, another problem with the Jeep which I haven't really talked to you guys about because it started off as really small. It's not terrible but I'm going to tell you guys about it. We're going to be talking a lot more about that and uh, yeah that's a small another issue that just came up with it with this but that's my goal but take the challenger to the shop get the mid muffler delete and then try to get everything sorted out with the jeep but yeah so let me know guys in the comment section below have you guys done this to your vehicle even if it's not a challenger even if it's not something like this i want to know i'm really curious to know have you guys done it and does it really sound well i've heard some people say on the forums they said that it is it sounds some people say it sounds like like a riced out truck. I don't really know. Some people say it sounds good. Some people sounds. Some people say it sounds bad. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think. But like that, I'm interview here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Omega Greed, same name as YouTube channel. And like that, I'm out of here. Goodbye.